today we are going to do a spring refresher. Um, botanicals! Okay, I love, love, love botanical prints. When I go shop online at the major stores, if you were to get something framed, a whole set of nine, it would cost you literally hundreds of dollars. And so, frugal me, I'm just telling you, I'm not going to pay that because I'm just not going to. So, anyway, so these, this whole entire collection um, is, oh, let me think how much I got it for. Oh my goodness. This, I would say this whole thing was less than $30 because I got the frames on consignment and then I paid um, individually for these prints on consignment and these were already matted and so I just taped each one and centered it in, which doesn't take too terribly long. I'm not going to um, misguide you. you. It does take some time to load each print, so if you you want to schedule some extra time, but you're still going to save a significant amount of money. And what a fun, like, upscale, modern refresher to have a spring gallery wall. So, um, without further ado, so we've got, what did I do? So, I framed kind of a collection of reds. I wanted a punch of color. So, first you need to decide what your color scheme is. You might want to do yellows or oranges or blues, um, but I did primarily reds, and then I think the white gives it more of a minimalist, but at the same time a glamorous kind of vibe towards um, the whole wall. And um, so that was that. I'll show you quickly how I framed it, and happy botanical spring. Oh yes, one more thing, when you space it, Make sure these are about an inch apart, but they look best when they're kind of all clustered together. So, um, yeah. So just make sure you pay attention to the spacing and happy spring. Okay, so if you're like me, I want to know the actual steps and process. I am very literal. So this is the recycled frame that I purchased. Um, on the back, what we're going to do is we're just going to flip it over. If you were actually to load your botanicals, of course, you would just remove each metal clasp. No big mystery there. And you'll have a little foam backing. Just flip that right over. And one quick tip that I found super helpful is instead of using scotch tape, the person that I purchased it from actually did use scotch tape, so it took a lot of time to remove that old scotch tape. But if you use a uh, blue painter's tape, just like so, um, it will be much easier to remove if you want to swap out the look um, over the next season. I'm already kind of brainstorming for fall, maybe some leaves or winter, some snowy scenes. So I hope you enjoyed that botanical tip and I would love to hear how you are redecorating for spring.